We all know there are various methods of starting a diesel engine. One such method is starting with the help of air motor. In this video, we'll see how to start an engine with an air motor. So this is a simple air starting circuit for a four stroke engine or either a small engine which is having air motor for starting. So let's now understand the basic simple circuit. Here we have the starting air inlet, usually 30 bar from the air bottle. And depending on the size of the engine, we have a pressure reducing valve. This is just optional. So this valve depends on the engine size, may be there, may not be there. For bigger engines, if you want to start with air motor, 30 bar is required. If it's a small engine, so 30 bar is not required. So this pressure regulating valve may be adjusted for 20 bar, so it reduces the pressure and get, then gives to the starting circuit. And after that, we have a safety mechanism, that is the relief valve, which means if something happens in this air starting circuit, the relief valve will lift and the air will be vented out to the safe area. So all this location and the purpose depends on the ship design and the starting requirement of the engine. But the basic systems resembles this one. So this is the simple diesel engine. Let's say it might have five units or six units. I assume it to be a six unit engine with a flywheel. And as we all know, the flywheel has the gear tooth over here. The bigger engines which we normally use on board uh, ocean going vessel has tooths like this which engage with the turning gear and thus turn the flywheel. Similar arrangement is there so that the air starting motor, this is the one, has a pinion which is a gear tooth, engages and then turns the engine. As it turns, the RPM, the speed of the engine, raises enough so that the combustion can take place. Till then, the air motor will rotate the flywheel with the help of compressed air. So, let's now understand the circuit. The 30 bar air or the required air pressure after the reducing valve comes over here and stops and waits at this control valve. So this is a pneumatic operated, spring loaded, two position and two way control valve. And a part of air branches out and then goes to a control valve which is having two way starting mechanism. Either it can be a push button over here which is useful for manual start and a remote signal can be given from the control room. Thus this valve will operate. So after the valve the main line goes to the air motor which has a piston here. The piston is spring loaded and as the air pushes the piston down, the pinion moves down and engages with the flywheel. And as the piston goes here, the air passes through. This port is uncovered. This port has an access to here and the air passes like this and then activates this pneumatic valve the control valve. So this comes in this place thus allowing the air and then here are the vanes. This is similar to uh, a vane or a turbine which has various uh, flaps and then as the air comes and hits it, it starts to turn. Thus the pinion is engaged with the help of the piston and with the help of the vanes and air pressure, the engine is turned. And as the engine picks up speed and starts uh, combustion, uh, let's say at 30 or 40 RPM depending on the engine design, let's say it fires on fuel now. A signal from the governor or from the control system, depending on the design, comes and deactivates the solenoid valve. Once it gets deactivated, again the valve gets shifted, the air in behind the piston gets drained. So the piston due to the spring force retracts, thus the pinion is withdrawn from the flywheel and the air axis is shut off, which means the air to the vane or the air motor is cut off in this place. Now this is the engine in, uh, let's say, idle position. The engine is not started now. The other diagram which I'm going to show, let's, it will be a working diagram. That will be a working circuit. Let's see how it is.
So this circuit over here represents the air motor when it's working. So as I said earlier, the 30 bar air comes over here and this I operate, I mean I start the engine manually by pressing this lever and the 30 bar air which is available waiting over here as the valve gets shifted it passes through the control valve and then it passes through thus immediately it pushes the piston down thus the pinion engages with the flywheel and as it pushes it passes out and then operates this control valve pneumatically so the compressed air operates this control valve thus the main air which is waiting here the valve shifts and then it passes through rotates the vane and gets vented through a small hole and as it rotates the pinion rotates thus the flywheel turns and then the engine picks up speed and as the engine picks up the firing speed I see the tachometer on the engine panel as it picks up speed I release the lever so when, once I release it immediately due to the spring force the valve shifted and the line gets vented this line the air behind the piston gets vented which means the piston due to the spring force will come back to its original position thus the pinion is disengaged and this control valve since there is no air supply shifts back stopping the air and no more air supply for the weights so the air motor stops working at this time thus the engine is started and then it picks up on fuel this is the basic circuit and in the future videos, we'll be seeing about the air motor and its construction and other mechanism or means of starting, let's say, like hydraulic starting of emergency generators and etc. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. For more videos, log on to dieselship.com.